Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video on the how to make an Ignition system series. Now before this video starts, I want to let you guys know that I have a Patreon. So if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files, they will all be available in my Patreon in the $10 tier. With that being said, let's start. Now, I haven't uploaded in almost 10 days or something like that and that was because of uh, me getting sick. And I wasn't able to get on my PC for almost a week or something like that. And yeah, that was the reason. But now I'm back. So in the past tutorial, I've showed you guys how to make this. So when you get close, you have a nice animation with the pets and stuff. And the cool part is that it will take the nearest egg and uh, print the nearest egg when you press E. And now I'm going to show you guys how to make the egg actually show up and hatch. And for now, there will be a temporary pet choosing system, which will just choose a random pet, not depending on uh, the rarities, but it's, it will be just a placeholder for now until we make a nice rarity system. So I'm going to go to uh, the client scripts here and right here where we hatch so i think it was here so the result is here now i'm going to have a function up here which will be local function and i'm going to call it something like um hatch uh hatch egg or hatch one hatch one and as an argument, we'll get the pet and that's and the egg. And now we'll call the function from here. So whenever this is true, we will just send a we'll just call the function. So hatch one and I will take the pet. So firstly we're gonna get the egg name. So nearest egg I think nearest egg will return the actual egg, not the name, which is good, which is what we want. And then we're gonna need the pet, the actual pet. Now I'm going to just have a chosen pet variable, so chosen pet. And right here, I'm going to go back to our main server script. And when we hatch the egg, when we get the egg model right here where we, where we return true, Instead, I'm going to return the chosen pet. And in here, I'm going to have a local chosen pet is equal to and math.random. Uh, actually, game dot replicated storage. By the way, as I said, this is temporary. So the code will be horrible, the choosing system. So game dot replicated storage dot pets. Dot. Uh, I'm just going to do egg model, egg model dot name, and I'll do colon get children get ch dot yeah colon get children, and then square brackets math dot random, and from one to hashtag um, game dot replicated storage dot pets. And square brackets, egg model dot name. And I think that's, yeah, I can't get children. Call and get children. And then it will return the chosen pet. So in here, we're going to check if the result is not equal to nil instead of that. And this will be the result. And then the hatch one here. I'm going to just firstly remove this print hatch in and I'm going to print right here print um, pet and now if I play the game try to hatch an egg cannot hatch egg model fine found uh, like bat so now it's a little demon and like bat, but um, I'm not really sure why it calls the function two times, but we'll see.
Oh, this is why, because we are printing the result here. So if I delete that and play the game now, it should only print that once. And I'm not really sure why it says cannot hatch uh, when I hatch over the first time. Oh, because I'm far. Okay, so egg model found little demon. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this egg model found. Print egg model found from the server. And instead, I'll go back here and instead of just printing the pet, we'll, we'll get the egg model. So, firstly, we have to get run service. Okay, so we already got run service. So in here, in this function, we'll need a variable for the egg model. So egg mesh, not egg model. And we're gonna have that set to the egg. Call find first child, find first child. And I'm going to go to eggs, basic egg, egg mesh. And now what I'm going to do is basically control G or right click, select your egg mesh or just your, uh, basically your egg that you want to display on the screen when they press E. Right click and press group. And we're gonna rename this to egg mesh. And make sure that you have a primary part set up and a, if you have multiple parts of the egg, you can weld them together. For now, just do this. Right click group or you can just press control G. Uh, rename the model to egg mesh. Set the primary part, and that should be uh, that should be it. Yes. Okay, so egg go and find first child. Egg uh, mesh, go and clone. And when we clone it, we want to parent it to the camera. So uh, egg mesh dot parent is equal to camera but before we do that uh, do we have a variable for the camera okay we do not have a variable for the camera so we'll create one so right here after this local player we can have a local camera is equal to and workspace dot camera or current camera uh, and in here I'm going to set the parent to the camera and before that we'll just do We'll just set up the egg. So for for i comma v in pairs um, egg mesh come on get children do we'll check if v colon is a uh, I think it was base I think it was okay let's check if it's a mesh. Hmm, why is this not okay? In um, dot, I think it's uh, I think it was basic, basic mesh or something. I'll have to recheck. Okay, so it's uh, V coin is a uh, base part. I forgot about that for some reason, and uh, in here I'm going to add a then and we'll do V dot. Anchored, anchored is equal to fault to true, and v dot anchored dot uh, can collide can collide is equal to false. And after that, we'll parent it to the camera, or before that, we'll get run service. So run service dot render step to call and connect function. And in here, I'll have a variable for a C frame, so local CF is equal to, and C frame dot new, or we can just do, yeah, C frame dot new, and that will take zero comma zero, and in here, we'll take the uh, egg mesh dot primary part dot size dot z I think let's just select our egg mesh and I think it was the z because we want to place it like this okay so it's a z and we're gonna multiply that by two and then 
in here I'm going to do uh, egg mesh colon set set primary part C frame set primary uh, part C frame and it will be the camera C frame camera dot C frame and we're gonna multiply that by CF and now if we play the game hopefully that will work it probably won't though as I said it probably won't so position v dot egg mesh dot position okay so this is very very simple to fix it's just uh, v dot egg mesh dot primary part dot primary part dot position and that should work we're probably going to get another error though cannot hatch cannot hatch why is this why is it doing this okay so we have some egg meshes in the camera though but i don't know where they are okay uh it says cannot hatch because we are only printing this when we can't hatch so i think i'm going to get rid of this and in here i'm going to change to just have an empty space or just to get rid of this else And now what I'm going to do is go here and change this to minus egg mesh dot primary part dot size dot z multiplied by two. And let's see if that works. So do we have an egg mesh? And yes we do. That's great. Now we want this egg mesh to shake. So we'll do just that right here. I'm going to multiply this by C frame dot angles. And that will be, let me go recheck what angle we'll have to rotate that in. I'm pretty sure it was, okay. I have no idea why this is not working. Argument three missing or nil. Oh. It's because I've left this like that. I'll try to replay. Okay, so for some reason it only works with this egg, but we'll fix that later. Oh, now I just wanna check what axis we're gonna have to rotate this in, and it's the Z, so we want this to shake. It's very simple. We have to multiply this by C frame dot angles and zero comma zero comma and that will take math dot sin and that will take the time. We're gonna multiply that by something like two. And we'll play the game now and see how that looks. So Okay, this works. Now I'll show you how to make the uh, egg shake faster. So to make it shake faster, you have to mess around with this variable in here, with this uh, number here, which is two. We're gonna have that set to something like eight. Okay, so as you can see when it's set to something like 8 it shakes faster but i'm going to have that set to 8 i'm, I'm just going to keep it at 8 and i'll show you how to make the egg shake uh, in a low in a uh, i'll show you how to change the bobbin size so just divide all of this by something like 2.8 I should have just put in something like a three. Why is this not registering my input? And as you can see, it will uh, shake slower. I mean, um, in a slower bobbin size, smaller. Okay, so I'm going to bump this up to, tw to 18 and I'll change this to something like 2.3.
And now if I play the game, that should work. And I think I'm going to keep it like this. And now we want this egg to, dis to destroy. But firstly, we have to see why is this not working. So I'll, in here, I'm going to print hatch in. Or actually, I'll, I'll print that after we parent this. And in here, I will get rid of this weight 3. And get rid of the entire cooldown instead. So I'll just put this like that. And see what happens. So when I press it the first time, it does not work. When I press it, I have to press it like a ton of times in order for it to work. So, how can we fix this? So in here we are checking if the player can hatch and if player dot character is not equal to nil and is hatching is equal equal to false. Then we are doing all of this. Now I'm going to check else. Print cannot hatch. Now let's see what will happen. So it says hatching. Now what if I replay? If I press E from the first time, it says hatching. So it looks like it was a cooldown problem. And no, I just pressed E, but I'm not sure if it's my keyboard or is it a bug. Okay, uh, either way, we're gonna have to get a cooldown system working. And we need to subtract some money from the player's uh, coins. But for now, I'm just going to make a working cooldown system. So in here, when we hatch, we want to set the is hatching uh, variable to true. And after that, we want to wait a couple of seconds. So somehow like three seconds of shaking the egg and we'll set is hatching to false and we'll destroy the egg so i'm going to do egg mesh column destroy but instead i'll have a connection here so right here i'm going to have a local hatch one connection and we'll have that set to nil and scroll down and in here i'm going to do i'm going to set this to connection so hatch one connection is equal to and run service dot render stepped and then we'll disconnect the connection so hatch one connection call and disconnect so that we can stop this event from running and then get rid of the egg mesh so egg mesh call and destroy so that we won't get spammed with errors and i think that will work hopefully so if I get closer to the egg and press E, nothing happens. And I have no idea why. But now it works. So it destroys the egg. And what if I try to hatch it again? Okay, so I think it might be because of this. So right here, if can hatch is equal is equal equal to true and all that right here i'm just going to put an else else print uh can attach and i'll see what that prints so if i play the game right now it prints can't hatch okay so i'm going to print can't hatch dot dot and i'll print can hatch actually I'll just add a print can hatch and then we also wanna that's that's it okay so it's false so that's the problem 
So when are we changing this can hatch value? So right here. If player long distance from character v dot egg dot primary player dot position. Okay, I think I got it. We got rid of this can hatch variable in here. And scroll down and we'll set it from here. So I'm going to have to copy this and get rid of this. And then after we get the nearest egg, we will check if the player distance and instead of doing this, we'll change this to nearest egg, nearest egg egg mesh not primary part and the speedboard temp we'll have to just get rid of and instead we'll set the can hatch to false in here and in here can hatch to true and after that we will check if can hatch is equal equal to true then and then I'm pretty sure we can just get rid of this and let's check this so now if I get close to this if I press E that works instant instantly which is great if I press E on this, it works instantly, but it printed it two times. Okay, so it's normal because we hatched the egg two times. If I do this, if I do this, it won't work until it hatches that. Okay, so we have a fully functioning um, cooldown system, and we've made the egg shake. And I think that's going to be it for today's tutorial. If this helped, please like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe. And you can always check out my Patreon. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.